Hey y'all, we are here at the dollar store and I'm gonna go in to see if they have Halloween stuff yet. I'm hoping they do. And um, so this is going to be dollar store haul number two, Halloween edition. Stay tuned. folks it's a few days after the trip to the dollar store for my witchy Halloween haul and uh, life happened so I wasn't able to shoot the video right after I got home so we're doing that now I got three bags worth of goodies and I spent a total including tax of $32.02 and that was three bags worth of stuff. So let's get right on into it. Um, so this time around, they didn't have the assortment of herbs that they had the last time. I don't know what was up with that. Um, so I'll show you what I got this go around. I got some ground black pepper. I got some peppercorns. I also got some crushed red chili peppers, flakes, crushed red pepper flakes, chili powder, some coarse sea salt, and the thing that I am the most pleased about because I have never seen it at my dollar store, pink Himalayan salt. I am so happy I found this, a dollar. This is one pound. I have the Himalayan salt that I am almost out of. I got at the regular grocery store and I think it cost me like seven bucks. So to find this, to find this for a buck, I was so happy. So the next, let's move on to the next batch of items I got which are like crafty, crafty type things. Um, and some of these you saw um, when I was walking around the store, I videoed some of it, not everything. So we'll start off with these little brooms that I found. So we've got orange and we've got black. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with these yet. When I figure it out, and if, some, and if it's something really cool and I'm really excited about, I'll shoot a video on it. Um, but right now there's nothing planned. I just thought they were really cool and they'll look great 
on my altar when I get ready to do my fall slash um, Maybon setup. Pretty excited about that. And also for the altar, fall slash Maybon decorations, I got these little pumpkins. So this one, I got the orange one. I love these, I think they're so cute. This one's a little bit green and brown. I love them. So these are gonna be on my altar as well when it's time to do it up for Maybon. And we got some colorful fall leaves again for the altar when it's time to do that. And I like the fact that there's some gold ones in here too. Fantastic, so excited, I can't wait. I also, I don't know why I got these, the Sugar Skull stickers. I just think they're cute. And I got two sets of these little placards and I absolutely love them. I think they're completely adorable, which is why I got them. So here we go. I got this one mainly for the Witches Inn. I like that. And then the second set I got, here we go. And again, this one I got mainly for the black cat, bat, black cat crossing. So I think that's super adorable. Now the next three items that I am gonna share with you, just like the pink salt, even though I think I was more excited to see these at my dollar store than I was the pink salt, because I have never, all the times that I have been into this dollar store, I have never been able to find these. My, uh, one of my girlfriends who lives a couple hours north of me, she has them at her dollar store all the time. So she buys them and sets them aside for me. So when I go up to visit, she usually has a, has a bunch to give me, but they are these little corked glass bottles. Now this size I use to make spell jar pendants. There's going to be a video coming on those. I wire wrap them in copper at the moment, probably do silver. Also when I'm done with that, they're also going to be available for sale in my shop at thegildedraven.com. So go check that out. So they had those small ones and then they had these medium ones, corked top again. And then they had some that are a little bit larger. They're gonna be charms for your car for protection. I had my car broken into last year and I made a spell bottle and I added some other little hee haws and doodads to it and wound up, it, I made a talisman is what it wound up being. So I'm going to be making some of those, not talismans per se, but little spell bottles for like safe travels, protection against accidents, protections against theft. Um, so a few of these will be made for that. And again, when they're finished, they will be um, posted on the website. So check it out. And also, if you wanna be notified when I upload new videos, such as the videos that I'm gonna do about these little spell bottles, be sure to click the follow, the follow button and the, the bell button, because that's a notification. That'll let you know when I post a new video. That business out of the way, so we are now going to move on to candles, not candles and stuff, it's candles. 20 tea lights for a dollar. Obviously, it's all at the dollar, dollar store. So what I like about tea lights, and especially these, I mean, these is 20 and they're, they're kind of shallow, so they're gonna burn pretty fast. They're white, so they can be a replacement for any color. Um, so if you are in the broom closet and you kind of need to like do stuff on the download, these would be perfect. Get yourself like a little votive or tea light holder, plop one of these in there. You can set your intention in it. Nobody's going to know the difference. They're white. They're completely like people won't even notice. So these are perfect if you cannot practice out in the open. I love them. Again, 20, I, 20 tea lights for a dollar. That's a good deal. Now, I'm gonna show you something that I have a problem with. 
I probably need to go to support group about it. <laughs> and that is these Novena candles. And the reason that I say that I have a problem with these is because I have so many of these glass containers that are empty. So many. I can't recycle them. Like I can't put them in the recycle. I can't throw them away. I just, I keep them. What I have started doing, however, is repurposing them. So I clean them out and I will either make new spell candles or new novena candles. I've used them as vases, put some flowers in them to put on my like ancestor altar, my other altars or that I have around the house. Um, and I am going to be making a video that is going to take you through the entire process of how I make my spell candles. I do have a video that I will put a card up somewhere in one of these corners of my very first video that I did of making a money drawing candle. So I'm kind of going to riff off of that, but I'm going to go, I'm going to take you guys through the process of how I clean them once the candle has burned all the way down. So we'll go through that process. We'll go through the process of melting the wax, the herbs that I put in there, the oils that I put in there, how I wick them. So start to finish from cleaning the glass till the finished project that so be on the lookout for that video. I'm very, very, very excited about it. Um, so, and I have never seen, back to the dollar store, I have never seen at my dollar store orange or purple. So I had to get them. I got two of each. I also got some red and green. Again, two of each. So now I have more glass that I'm going to need to eventually clean and make more candles out of. So on that same topic of making these spill candles from the used glass of the novenas that I bought at the dollar store, I am thinking about offering the candles that I make for sale in my shop. I'm also contemplating whether I should also offer like a candle ritual service for you guys so or if i should do both why don't you guys drop a comment below and let me know what you would prefer would you prefer to purchase the candles yourself perform your own rituals or would you like to save yourself the shipping and just purchase a candle ritual from me Drop a comment below and let me know what you guys would prefer. That'd be fantastic. So along with this candle theme, I also got two different types of cake pans. So this one obviously is more durable. These are disposable. And what I use these for, or what you can use them for, is you can fill them with sand or salt. Um, well, another thought just came to me, but since we're talking about candles, you can fill it with sand or salt. You can put your herbs around here, put your chime candle in there or your taper candle or whatever. Just make sure that the candle that you put in here is secure, whether that is you're dripping some wax down, setting the candle in and securing it before you add the salt and sand, or if you put enough salt and or sand in here that holds the candle securely so it's not going to fall over, especially if you're using a taper, which is we need to be really cognizant of our fire safety, okay? And something this size, yes, you can do just the one candle in here, totally fine, but if you like to do more complicated candle rituals, this will probably, this will safely hold five chime candles. Now that's those, the little ones, like this. So safely, you can do five chime candles in here. Again, 
with the salt or the sand, something to help absorb the heat because you don't want to ruin the surface that you have this set on. Um, the other way that I use the, these is you can fill it with like halfway up, halfway up with water. Put your Novena candle in it like this. And now if the glass were to break, and that has happened to me, you have water in here to help put any fire out and it keeps the wax contained in this so it doesn't get all over everything. And especially the wax that they use in these are really, it's really a challenge to get it off your table, your carpet, heaven forbid, which is why I like using something like this to set them in with water or the little disposable ones. And the thing that's nice about the disposable ones, I suppose, um, if this is your jam, you can always dump out the herbs, dispose of the herbs whatever way you want to pick the wax out and you can recycle these. So I wouldn't suggest, if you're using this for spell work, I wouldn't suggest reusing it, especially if you're doing some left hand um, type working. So I yeah, I would not advise reusing reusing the disposable ones for that. With a good cleansing, like salt water, smoking it, setting it out underneath the moon or the sun to cleanse it after you do a working, but just make sure that you cleanse it really, 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 really good for something that's more durable, like this cake pan. I will link it somewhere in the corner here for you guys to go check out when we're done here. So I got this little plate at the dollar store and I use this for like quick and dirty money spells. A couple of my friends have called me, they needed some help with stuff. So I've used this for that specific purpose. Um, and the candles that I use don't really leave wax a very much of a wax residue and the wax comes off really fast. But there are candles that I have used in the past that, Lord, <laughs> hard to get off. So when I was at the dollar store this weekend, I saw these, these Reynolds uh, tin foil sheets. And what you can do with these you can wrap your plate with the tin foil and that will also make clean up a breeze. And again, in something like this, you can stick your candle down to the middle of it, put your herbs and your salt and whatever around it and, and call it good. So that's everything that I got at the dollar store and for 30 bucks and some change, um, I think it was a pretty good, pretty good haul. I was very excited of everything that they had out there. I was a little bit sad that they didn't have any black Novena candles, but that's fine because I'm gonna be making my own. Maybe that's what I'll do for that video is I'll make my protection candles. I have ideas, we'll see. So um, follow, subscribe, click the bell button so you know when those videos get posted. That'll help me out a lot as I, as I grow and take you guys on this journey. That'd be fantastic. There is one thing that I also want to add. Um, witchcraft doesn't need to cost a lot of money. Back in the day, you know, the people who were practicing couldn't go down to the local store and spend $50 on a manifestation candle scribe. That just wasn't a thing. They used what they had on hand. And especially in some areas, they had to do everything like on the down low. So they had to use everyday items to perform their rituals and their workings. So a lot of the things that you can use for prosperity or banishment, you've got probably the spices in your, in your cabinet. And if you don't have the spices in your cabinet, go check out the spice section in your local dollar store. And you know, this is a good size thing. This is going to last me a while. And this was a dollar, you know, and magic doesn't have to cost you a lot if you're just starting out and 
you are overwhelmed and you don't know how you can possibly practice because your situation doesn't um, match what you're seeing on Instagram or TikTok. You know, yeah, those altars are gorgeous. My working altar, I mean, you can see it behind me and it might look nice, but you guys aren't seeing is like, it's my working altar. It, it's, I've got wax on it. There are herbs on it, um, you know, and I clean it frequently, but you know, when you're working your space, it's not all aesthetically pleasing, right? So just know that and work with what you got. There's nothing wrong with it. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't need to feel like if it's not beautiful, it's not gonna work because that's bullshit. What is important, first and foremost, is you and your intention. Gonna wrap it up. And again, I will say, if you wanna keep abreast on what's happening with me and when new videos get posted, make sure that you're, you subscribe you click the notification button. Um, and also you can follow me on Instagram at the underscore gilded underscore Raven. And there I post when I go live with my tarot readings on Twitch at the gilded Raven underscore TV. That's my Twitch channel. And the gilded Raven.com is the website where I have a blog and I offer paid tarot readings. My jewelry is up there. I have some anointing oils and soon there's going to be a lot of other products that I have in the works. The homemade spell, spell candles only being one of what's to come. So until next time, y'all take it easy, be safe, fierce love.